The U.S. Senate today voted 82 to 15 to begin clearing the way for formal debate on a massive 900-page measure overhauling the nation's immigration laws. President Obama, surrounded by business leaders among others, sounded optimistic about Congress passing the controversial bill soon. Smarter enforcement, a pathway to earn citizenship, improvements to our legal system. They're all common sense steps. They've got bipartisan support. They've got the support of a broad cross-section of leaders from every walk of life. So there's no reason Congress can't get this done by the end of the summer. One of the business leaders attending the White House event was Steve Case, former chairman of AOL Time Warner and a strong supporter of immigration reform. It's very important that we continue to be a magnet for talent, that we really uh, become the place that people want to start companies and start industries, because that's the best way to drive our economy, best way to drive our economic growth, best way to drive down our, our unemployment. We've got to make sure we are able to attract those, those risk takers, the pioneers who really believe in America as, a, as the most entrepreneurial nation in the world. Our guest tonight was also at that White House event with President Obama. Gary Loveman is the CEO of Caesars Entertainment and a member of the Business Roundtable, which has been lobbying for immigration reform. Gary, so nice to have you back on the program. Pleased to be here, Susie. All right, so there's been a lot of anxiety, as you know, about immigration reform. Why are you and the Business Roundtable such big supporters? Well, because we think it's good for those that are affected by the current broken immigration system, and it's certainly good for business. The president's proposal and what the Senate is considering has three central features. The first is to enhance border security very meaningfully. The second is to deal with the 11 million undocumented immigrants and their children who live in the United States today, whose circumstances are ill-defined and certainly not functional for anyone. And the third is to rationalize the immigration system prospectively. So as Steve Case pointed out, we access the world's greatest talent and bring them here for their best work. And I think for all the simple reasons that these three ideas suggest, it's good for everybody. Talk to me about a pathway to citizenship, which is part of the uh, proposed legislation that would involve those 11 million uh, undocumented workers or, or residents uh, finding a way to, to, to get legal here in this country. What should it include, in your view? Well, the president's proposed that it includes, of course, making sure that no one has any uh, criminal offenses against them, that they uh, command English, that they uh, pay their taxes, and they are regularized, in a sense, in American life as they petition for inclusion in the queue to move forward toward citizenship. And I think all those standards make a lot of sense. The president's also proposed that these folks come in behind the queue that exists for those that have pursued legal immigration. So you can imagine a feathering of those that are coming in through traditional mechanisms along with those that are, that are moving ahead under the newly proposed mechanism. Gary, I want to get uh, back to the point about the economic impact of all this. I mean, certainly immigration is a problem that has to be fixed. But, you know, what do you say to people who are worried about, especially Americans who are out of work, who are looking for a job and can't find one, and they're worried about the economic impact at a time that our economy is weak and we have these huge deficits? Well, I think the, that's a little bit of a false concern. I think on the one hand, as Steve points out, we are losing access to some of the great minds that could help propel entrepreneurship and innovation forward. There's a lot of very highly specialized skills where we have an insufficient supply of people available to work, even with today's high unemployment rate. And I don't believe that the regularization of the existing of undocumented folks would lead to a substantial supply that would compete for those that are seeking work here. On the other hand, and I think more importantly, Susie, having a regularized immigration system will enhance demand for goods and services for companies like mine and many others, and particularly for the housing market, which is essential to the restoration of growth in this country that would lead to a better outcome for, for everyone, including those that are seeking work. What would this immigration reform mean to your business? You alluded to it just then. Well, I think, first of all, it, it would enhance the demand for our services by folks who would find their circumstances in this country predictable. I think it would lead to a greater level of innovation and uh, entrepreneurship among folks that would be staying in this country because they'd like to do as Steve proposes. And, and I think also in terms of our being able to find the most talented people to serve our guests and drive our company forward, we'd have better prospects for that as well. So I think on the supply side and the demand side, it's a very sound argument. Gary, thank you so much for coming on the program. Great to have you. Glad to be here. Gary Loveman, Chairman and CEO of Caesars Entertainment.